Welcome to this uh, review of the um, Crosley CT100B portable receiver. It's a four band radio, AM, FM, uh, shortwave. Has good coverage from 3 to 23 megahertz and has a tape cassette that you can record on, play tapes on it, and so on. It's like a good old, you know, cassette type radio player from the 80s actually looks a lot like what I had when I actually had one uh, when I was like 13 years old or something. Uh, it is um, a, it's pretty sturdy in its construction, I have to say. It's, uh, it's nice. It, of course, comes with a power, internal power adapter. So you can actually just plug in the cable and it works. 4D batteries required if you want to use batteries. And of course, you got the play button. You got the uh, different options. It has memory card playback and Bluetooth connectivity. And of course, it has a tone control and it has a volume control. What's the performance of this radio? So um, let's go to the bad AM medium wave. Medium wave on it is rather bad. It has tones and kinds of whistles everywhere, which makes it very difficult to DX medium wave at least. But strong stations are in, and strong, st strong stations actually are, uh, are well received. But apart from that, you won't like the fact that it has all of these weird tones. The tones actually appear on some parts of the shortwave bands on the radio. I've heard it a few places, but most of the places I've listened to stations, it's not there. But it is across all of the medium wave bands, so it makes it a crappy AM radio. FM, not so good. It doesn't really get the strong, the, 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 the faraway stations I usually hear on a lot of radios. But it does get the local station as well. Now, on shortwave, it's very sensitive. Now, the problem that I have on shortwave is that once you start actually uh, using the telescopic, the longer you actually will erect the telescopic, the more FM breakthrough, and it becomes unusable. Most of the videos where you see my receiving shortwave, the antenna is less than half length. Because if I open it more, forget it. But the fact that S less than half length, it's still receiving so well, shows you how incredibly sensitive this radio is. So if you're in a place where FM breakthrough is not a problem, it actually might be a good shortwave radio. It has a few flaws on the shortwave side, the fading, which is very typical of a lot of the DSP-based radios. When the fading goes down, it just drops off. A lot of you have actually commented on that on some of the, view, the radio um, videos that I posted with listening to stations. Another one which is very bizarre. I thought at first it could be the speaker that's kind of doing that, but it is obviously not. What it seems to be is that there's, in some cases, depending on the propagation on shortwave, a distortion that happens from time to time in the audio. It almost sounds like distortion when you put, you know, volume too loud and the speaker can't handle it, but it's not that. In this case, that's not a problem. It's not at all related to that. Because if I play uh, the cassette, if I play MP3s, if I play, um, you know, Bluetooth, it never does it. And it only does it when there's rapid fading on signals. So it's obviously d the DSP chip, the way that it's been um, actually, you know, uh, design in here, it creates this weird distortion at times, which can be annoying at times. And anyways, I'll post more videos of this and you'll actually hear it. Um, the cassette tape, a lot of people ask me if it's working well or not. Well, just to give you an idea, this is a recording of Radio New Zealand. And if you record music off of FM and stuff like that, it actually sounds decent. It records pretty well, and for that, it is actually nice. You know what? Um, it has flaws, but it's also um, it. Well, it cost me something like uh, sixty Canadian dollars with a coupon for the price. I got a cassette player and all of that. It isn't too bad, but yeah, obviously, 
if if you don't want to have the distortion effect it's a little bad but it's not everywhere as you might have noticed and some of the reception and the receive of the stations you notice how good it is also um fm breakthrough is really bad and it's sad that the am is plagued with all of that weird tone thing because this could have been an ultimate good what i call kitchen radio it's you know with the power that you just plug in and it's what i call a kitchen radio and it would have worked well it has a um earphone jack that you can actually plug in uh, overall, I'll give this a passing grade of 6 out of 10 for the effort, but it's unfortunately uh, filled with little flaws. Uh, and it's sad because the construction itself seems to be quite sturdy and quite good. Uh, will I return it? I will probably not because I kind of am um, a little bit of a fanatic of it now because of it reminds me of my first cassette radio player that I had so and even though it has some of the flaws it's still listenable on shortwave on some stations and I like the cassette playback and record so I'm gonna keep it for that purpose you can record from any source if you actually you know use Bluetooth and and have audio through it you can record from that also so you can make yourself cassettes and stuff uh, I know cassettes are kind of a little outdated although apparently there's a revival in some of the, the the young generation today kind of are are going crazy over cassettes like they're going crazy over vinyl records um but uh that's the straight dope out of this fm okay not great am almost unusable especially for dx on local stations a little better uh shortwave if it wasn't for the little um kind of crappy sound that it has sometimes um i can cope with the fact that just you know half telescopic and i'm receiving shortwave signals uh that would be at least great um but uh that's all the flaws that it has uh honestly so crosley ct 100b that's pretty much what i have to say with it if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching